niggas ain't shit, I swear And they know it, they know it, they know it Niggas ain't shit, I swear, I swear. And they know it, they know it, they know it What's up, what's goody? Welcome or welcome back to my channel My name is Aisha Moe, if it's your first time here And for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to double weft or double your tracks so the hair that is going to be featured in today's video is from kbl hair factory this is their loose wave in 20 inches this is their blue band hair and it is super duper thick it's full i love how thick the webs are and the hair overall there isn't any shedding it's just really really gorgeous um hair and this video is sponsored by them i will link the information to their page and to their um hair so you guys can go ahead and purchase if you're interested but as you see definitely no shedding it's just nice and thick and full so i'm gonna be using this hair to make a wig and because i want to use all three bundles because i got three bundles um i'm gonna go ahead and double my tracks so i'm using the brother sewing machine i'm gonna use the zigzag stitch number four because it's nice and wide and basically the technique to double your tracks first and foremost i'm gonna be using black thread to sew and i'm gonna take the two tracks it can be difficult to start the track so sometimes i might start a little bit away from the end just because the machine will get really um jammed whenever you try to start it so sometimes i start further away from the start of the tracks so anywho as i said i use the number four zigzag stitch and what i mean when i say it's wide meaning that if i use a number two or number three stitch it's not gonna be wide enough to actually grab both pieces of the tracks so i use the wider stitch and what you're gonna do in order to double your wefts you're gonna actually take your fingers and push them together as closely as possible and then you're gonna go ahead and stitch so i'm gonna show you guys a close up so you can understand what i'm saying so you have the two tracks and right now it's way too wide there's no way the stitch would actually get to both of them so i'm gonna go ahead and pinch them closely together and i'm gonna go ahead and stitch that so you guys can see because it's a zigzag it's gonna go up and down and it will grab both tracks and stick stitch them together so to be honest when i tried this for the first time it wasn't easy um it definitely you know gets better with practice but all you need to do is understand the technique which is push pushing sorry the two tracks together and sewing them down so as you guys can see i'm punching them as closely as possible together and then sewing them down so i'm gonna let you guys go ahead and watch the technique a couple more times so you can understand and see clearly what is going on So now you guys can see what it looks like um i definitely could have pushed the tracks together a bit closer but i mean it's not gonna fall apart as long as it's stitched together and i'm using a regular um clothing thread there isn't really a specific brand of thread that i use as long as the thread is black or whatever color the track is that i'm working with that's the color thread that i use so push your tracks together and stitch <laughs> Love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me It's not working now, maybe it's the chemistry It's time to break up so I can make a better me Better believe in your mind cause it's everything You can mold shape
okay guys so now that we have done our stitches and our whips are nice and secure we're gonna go ahead and end them off and what we're gonna use is our stop motion button or stop motion screw we're gonna press on that a couple times what that does is actually back stitch so it secures it so i do that twice just to make sure that my tracks stay stitched together and this is what it is looking like of course it's not gonna be 100 percent perfect you might have to go over certain areas because the whiffs um didn't stitch together but um yeah so far so good for me so i went ahead and i doubled two of the bundles well two and a half of the bundles because when you get to the top part of the wig you don't want to use double wefted bundles but yeah this is basically how you double your tracks or double your wefts for wig making i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something new so this is what the wig looks like when i had you know sewed it down it's, the wig isn't completed so this is just raw footage but again i definitely hope you guys enjoyed this video if you are interested in um how to make a closure wig because this was a closure wig as i said i will link that somewhere on screen also guys please remember to go ahead and check out kbl here if you would like to get these luscious bundles um, I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!